Hey. Well, I just thought I would go on to YouTube and check out my email and see what's there, you know. I just got back from Home Depot, oh, working on a Saturday, kind of sucks because it's amazingly gorgeous out here. This is August 31st and it is a gorgeous day here in Everett, which is a bit north <laughs> of Seattle. Okay, so my dog's going. She, she, she knows I'm, I'm making a video, so this is this is her big cue. So I'm checking out my checking out my email on YouTube, and I'm I'm going to. Hey, I just went right past where I wanted to go. Yes, isn't this exciting? See, I have a new wolf hat. I'm not very happy with it. Um, somebody wanted to know where my um, where I got the wolf ears, so I went to Amazon to see if they were still there. It is still there, by the way. But then I saw this one, and it looked really cute in the picture. And it was like eight something, so for the price, you can't lose. Look, it's even got little tassels. But it's not nearly the, as good as the other one. It's just, it's like, meh, whatever. Okay, so I'm going to my inbox. <gasps> Here's a nice little email from somebody named Garf640. wonder what he has to say. Oh, this is about my video that I just made that I'm very proud of called My Take on Lazy, Presumptuous, Presuppositional Apologist. I love that video. It's a little bit long. I have to admit that one got a little out of control. Too, too long. Anyway, <clears throat> so what's he got to say? He says... I am pretty certain it was a debate between Matt and F.R. Hans Jacobs called the source of human morality. I don't think Matt ever debated Psy, but I could be wrong. Hans, or it could be it's probably Hans, <clears throat> did do exactly what was described and saved everything to the end in the debate. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. I have this. Oh, I hate it when I'm wrong. Oh, it's just not good. I'm supposed to never be wrong and I'm wrong. So now I have to apologize to Sai. Or then again, I don't know. In the video that I watched, what I, Matt was talking about Sai, and then he told the story, and I thought he was saying that it was Sai that he debated with. So if I am wrong, I am so incredibly unhappy right now. The video that I watched where I heard Matt talk about this that I obviously or possibly we won't say obviously because this guy says he might not be right but I might not be right so now I'm like oh shit is called Matt Dillahunty the superiority of secular morality so I guess I'll have to go back it's 26 minutes and 55 seconds one year ago it was done <laughs> oh gonna have to go back down and watch it again. Maybe I misunderstood. I thought he was saying that he debated Psy. But then when I went to try to find this debate, I couldn't find it anywhere on YouTube, so it might not be that it was Psy. Which means my really cool video that I'm so happy with my take on lazy presumptuous. Pre <laughs> I love that word. Presuppositional apologist is wrong. <laughs> Which means I'm gonna have to. I don't know. Maybe I'll put a little, little write a little little blurb or something every time I say Sai's name. Oops, wrong. Eek. But thanks for playing. <laughs> so okay, fine. I hate. I hate. I hate it. I, I feel like you know. Shoot. Okay. So I don't know who this other person is that he's saying is this Hans person but anyway so I guess I'm, I have to make an apology I'm sorry Sai I'm really sorry 
I'm really, I still think you're a lazy, presumptuous apologist, however, because you, I watched your videos, and, and the ones that I watched, you were very rude to people, and assuming that people believe in something just because a book says, and living your whole life, <laughs> and making your reality all based on what a book says, I, I not only think that's really a lazy way of, well, it, it makes you not have to do any work as a debating atheist, but I also think that that's a really sad way to look at the world. Looking at it through like this little tiny, everybody thinks this way because this book says. See, I think that's just really sad. So I don't take back any of that. I think, I think you know, you seem like an intelligent person. I don't understand. You know, all three of them. Psy, Matthew 419, well maybe not, well, I don't know about that guy. Anyway, um, Bible Thumping Wingnut seems pretty smart. Why, why do you have to have the lazy way to approach a, if you're, if you're, if you're, if Christianity is true, you shouldn't have to play games with people. You shouldn't have to come up with tricks. You should be able to argue, you know, intelligently. I don't know. Maybe maybe that's the way it is though. Maybe that's how Christianity is at this point. Maybe there's nothing, maybe everything's been tried and, and you just can't win unless you, unless you cheat. You know? And even then it's not winning. It's just anybody with half a brain cell can figure out what you're doing. <laughs> Um, wow. I just think it's sad. I just think it's sad that you have to resort to that. But anyway, uh, as for the, if I incorrectly put your name as this person that Matt debated, I do apologize for that. That would be my bad. I obviously didn't understand uh, what, what Matt was saying. And so for me to say that that was you being the dishonest, two-faced person... Um, although I think you might be those things in other for other reasons, but not for that reason. If you're not the one, then I wasn't talking about you. I was talking about this Hans person being like Matthew 419 and being dishonest, having dishonest tactics. So I apologize for the incorrect, uh, for the misunderstanding. That wasn't good. But... Uh, I just, I feel bad. I just feel like, I don't feel bad. What am I saying? I don't feel bad that Christi Christianity, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> I just think, you know, you get to the point where you have to say, you know what it is? This is what I think. You won't debate anybody unless they, unless they come down to your level. It's like, okay, I will not debate you unless you already believe that this book that I live that I basically use to, this, this this book is what I consider reality, okay, so unless somebody is able to come into my little area here and agree with me that the Bible is actually knowledge, I won't debate them. That's sad. I'm sorry, that's just sad. So in other words, you never, you will never, you will never open yourself up to be challenged, your perspective. You will never allow your, your perspective to be challenged by anybody. You're that stuck in this little tiny space. Oh, the book, the book, the book, the book says so it's true. And there's, there's nothing, anything that the book says that isn't true is not true. It's like, oh, wow. Even when I was a Christian, I wasn't like that. Even when I was a Christian, I looked at the Bible as um, there were obviously things in it that weren't correct, that weren't of from God, that were put in there by man. <sighs> okay, so I'm done with this video. I just mostly wanted to apologize for this mistake of mine. Oh my gosh, I'm not perfect. I'm sorry. <laughs> How am I going to ever let this down? I'm not perfect. Actually, I am like the furthest thing in the world from perfect. But I do think that when I screw up somebody's name and say something bad about somebody and it's not supposed to be him, it's somebody else completely, 
that is some time that is a thing where I need to make some kind of video and say you know what I screwed up I'm sorry these these are kind of fun okay well I'm gonna go because I want to spend some time playing with these <laughs> want to play with some balls <laughs> if you've been watching thanks bye